Today, got a new toy. From Dick Smith of all places. It's the T2200 temperature control soldering iron. I had a T2000 ages ago and I didn't really get much use out of it. So I gave it away. But, um, I think it had inherent problems. Hoping to have a better run with this one. Even the tip's got a protective cover on it. From all understanding, you can get replacement tips for these still off of um, places like eBay and whatnot. It's not quite a hacko, but it's not one of uh, it's not one of the very worst soldering irons you're going to get your hands on either. And that uh, should certainly be up to the task for what I'm going to use it for anyway. I like the fact that it's got a temperature meter on the front. So this is something that the T2000 from memory doesn't, didn't have. It was just a dial and hope for the best. I might just plug it in and see how we get on. I'll well, we set it for about 35. You can see the temperature meter creeping up. And as you can see, the uh, temperature meter has creeped up. I can smell that the iron is actually hot. Grab some solder. See if it's reached that point of, of melting yet. But that's pretty quick, really. That's a lot better than the... Um, than the old 60 watt iron I was using, oh sorry, 40 watt iron I was using. That's probably nearly, I don't know, 20 years old. So yeah, that's the, oh, and the heat is turned off now. You can just see that. Crank it up a little bit, the heater kicks in. And Turn it down a bit, heat it kicks out. And the temp gauge shoots back down again, obviously, because it's turned off. Yeah, this is a nice little nice little unit. This is the 6337 mix. Yeah, no, that's fine. Magic smoke. But, uh, yeah. this is going to come in very handy. Very nice. So, yeah, the T2200 from Dick Smith. Got it at half price. There's a half price sale on. And for 50 bucks, it's certainly better than some of the uh, questionable imitation brands and whatnot you've got online. I don't know if it's ESD rated or protective. The manual isn't super in-depth. But it's a good basic good basic soldering iron. And as I said for 50 bucks you can't go wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching.